Baseball tech guy here for the second part of the Irulu Victory 3. As you can see, we inserted a 32 gig chip in there. We have uh, in the 4G slot, which is a regular SIM, we're using an adapter to go from a nano SIM to a regular SIM. In um, slot 2, we have nothing, which is just a 2G, 2G slot. Um, so if we put this uh, cover back on and turn the device on, we'll swipe up, put our password in here, and you'll see um, that we're on Wi-Fi. I'll swipe down turn off Wi-Fi and you'll see we are now on 4G of AT&T when I first got this phone it did not have that we had to go into settings we had to go to um, let's see if I can find it it's at the top sim cards Let's see if we can go back here. Um, more cellular networks. This is the APN setting that you have to set um, to allow 4G. When I first got it, it only went to 3G. And what we had to do is, um, if you noticed, this dot A. Right here, that's what we put in there, the, the IA, to make it work. Um, to the other thing that we had to do, a lot of people wondering, it's got 32 gig in here. So we had to um, go into settings. You go to apps, if you want all your apps to go to the storage device. This is 32 gig we put in here, as you can see. Um, we had to go into apps and at the very top you hit this three spots and you could say hey preferred installation location and if you click that you can see it says send apps if they can to the removal SD card not all apps can go on there and the other thing when you into the pictures bring up your pictures here um, you can go to the settings and then um, location let's see if I can find it storage position and you set all your pictures and videos to the SD card so then that'll that'll free up your 16 gig this model like I said is a 16 gig ROM 2 gig of RAM we are now on 4G LTE um, some of the speed tests we got were pretty phenomenal um, we use speedtest.net and if we go to some of the results you can see um, the other day we got 17 almost 18 down and 18 up that means you're on LTE of AT&T so so far um, we like um, it's pretty quick uh, has a great screen um, videos play very well um, my son has used it a few times and it works out pretty well. Battery life is pretty good. It has a 300 milliamp battery. Um, and we kind of like it, like I said, um, through irulu.com. They're starting to put this out. I got this on Amazon. Uh, it's 199 for the 16 gig, 2 gig of RAM, or it's, I believe it's, 159 for the 8 gig and 1 gig of RAM. If you can afford it, I go with the 2 gig of RAM. It has a, um, a 720p high def screen, which is great. It's bright. Um, some of the pictures and videos we took were uh, pretty good. Let me see if I can. Um, see if I can.
it's a it's a six and a half inch screen so it's it's a pretty good size screen here's uh you know one of the pictures we took um we'll go back and let's see if i can bring up the video here's a little video i took with it you can see it's pretty good i can upload these videos so you can see actually video mode's very good um pictures low light is sometimes a little tough the video takes very good uh, videos uh everything else is very good um if you go into uh you know settings this is actually running um lollipop of if you go to the about here and as you can see we're running 5.1.1 of android lollipop which is very good the irulu v3 um it's a qualcomm processor so that's pretty good uh i did the 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 antutu benchmark 2 and we'll take a look at that really fast and some of the scores it got 21416 which ain't too bad ain't the fastest thing in the world but for an unlocked gsm phone not bad here's some of the settings you can see qualcomm snapdragon 410 has an adrenal 305 resolution 13.1 megapixel rear camera has two gig of ram shows you the storage in there cpu is 64 bit which is nice um it does uh, have a density of 320 which ain't bad it's a pretty bright screen uh five megapixel front camera uh here's some of the other information it doesn't have nfc support as you can see these are some of the things it has the accelerometer a light sensor proximity sensor so on and so forth but for 199 for an unlocked gsm phone with at&t lte network it's a great phone uh, very good talk to you later